Yesterday I went and updated Photoshop's beta. Now we're up to 25.0.0. And is it just me or has Generative Fill and Generative Expand gotten to a new level? I've wanted to restore this picture of me from 1974. Cute, eh? 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 And I'm going to use nothing but Generative Fill and Generative Expand to complete my work. Normally I use Peeling Brush, Clone Stamp, whatever you can to either recreate parts that are destroyed or make things look smoother or whatever. Not this time. I'm going to use these two tools and it's crazy, the results. Check it out. All right, here we are with my picture from 1974. Kind of got destroyed in some parts, so normally you either clone stamp or bringing other parts in from other parts of the pictures or whatever. Not today. Everything's generative fill. Everything's generative expand. Now let's go up to help and about. Like I said, we're at 25.0.0. Now the first thing I want to do is you want to keep as much of the original picture as possible. But sometimes you can't as parts are destroyed. What I like to do first, here, let's zoom in a bit. And let's fix the background first. So with my method, I always use the quick mask. So what we'll do, Q for the quick mask, flow at about, oh, 50%. What we'll do is we'll color in what we want replaced. We don't have to replace everything, just the parts that are kind of bad. We can do some other repairs later on, but this first part here, Let's just fix what needs to be fixed. So I'll show you in a second what can happen. All right, just a few parts there that we'll, we'll fix. A few dots here and things. Now, cue for the quick mask, and we'll invert our selection, and we'll always use remove. Zoom out. Let's see what we got. And now, with the newest version, you're also given four different choices instead of three. Now, if you don't like your choices, or if something kind of looks weird, hit Generate again. Of the second generation here, number two is killer. I just love it. It's so good. So what we'll do is we'll keep that one, and I'll rename the layer so I know what's going on. Remove. Background, PG. Now, next thing I want to do, let's zoom in, as we got some skin issues here. Now, I'm going to change my flow to 30% for this. Now, what we'll do, okay, we'll reduce the brush to 30%. Go to Quick Mask, and all these little blue marks and stuff here on my skin, and etc. And I'm going to go over just a little bit more than usual. And this is going to be cool. Yeah, there's a pimple I had I shouldn't have had back then. All right. Q, invert, remove. And it's changed and it's put back freckles I probably already had. It's Wonder Bar. And that's just section one. Let's check everything out here. Oh, right off the bat, number one is the one I like. So what we'll do now, quick mask. Let's grab these sections here. Now, I want to fix the glasses and everything on this side. Q, invert it, remove. And bam, it's removed everything that you've wanted to remove Put back half decent skin tone, and that's just number one. Number two, number three, number four. I think I'm like a number three here, and I'm not even gonna mess about here. Now, on the other side of the face, you see these black specks and things here. Another zit. Let's see if we can remove just that. And I've got a little trick here I know that'll help with this. So, quick mask. Let's just remove what we want to remove. Got some parts in here, over here, tip of the nose. We don't want to fix everything if we don't have to. Cue for the quick mask. 
invert, remove. And bam, it's gone. But it's changed things just a little bit. Now, here's the cool part. Choose the layer mask. Go to image. Apply image. Let's put a little of me back of the originality. Now, if you want to put anything back, paint with black. Back in black. Now, things that you want to remove or change, paint in white. And all I want to do is just get rid of some of this blackness here. And this part right here and right there and the zit is gone everything is just looking good here now let's tackle the hair as it seems it's kind of destroy here now normally i'd probably grab some from here or over here and put it over here but i'm gonna let generative fill and generative expand do their job i'll show you about generative expand later so let's zoom in Z key, because this hair just doesn't exist anymore. So let's do this quick mask. Again, leave our floor about 30%. And let's fix just the parts of the hair that we want. We can cover the whole bit, but let's just fix what we want here. Q. Now you can see. There's a little spot I missed, so hit Q again, color it in, Q. Invert, remove. Now, let's zoom out, and number one, number two, number three, number four. Let's hit generate again. Number one, number two, Number three, number four. I'm kind of liking that one. Number three, number four. I like number four. Now, once again, if you wish, choose the layer mask, image, apply image. Now, let's zoom in and let's paint in just what we need. We don't have to reinvent everything, just the parts we need. And with my naturally curly hair, who knew what was going on that day as far as the hair goes? There, yeah, I've colored in exactly what I need. Zoom out. Cool. All right, let's go down here by the neck. Let's zoom in. Quick mask. And we got some silliness going on here some purple stuff the collar's a bit messed up besides my skin so let's go in here grab a little extra from the outside to give it a reference q invert remove and bam it's put back a lot of great stuff number one number two Number three, number four. Wow, I don't know which one to choose. I'm thinking number three. Yep, number three is what it is. Zoom out, before, after. It's looking good. Now, we have to fix the shirt. This could be a little bit different. So what we'll do, let's zoom into the shirt. Let's see what we've got. There's a lot of damage here, but what I'll do is I'll do one section at a time, as I would normally with a clone stamp and anything else. Quick mask and the brush. Except this time, I'm going to change my flow to 50%. I always do 30% for skin and things like that. So let's just color in a little bit of what's going on here of what we don't want anymore for the blue section. Quick mask, invert, remove. And it cleaned it up. Let's see what we got. Now that one's not too good, but I'm liking either number one or number four. I think I'm gonna stick with number four. 
and we'll do clean up later. Right now, I just want to get these colors and everything done. Quick mask. Let's see what we got here. As far as this goes here, the green, attach a little bit of the green. Quick mask, invert, remove. Number one, number two, that's good stuff. Number three or number four, I'm going to keep number two. Now well, let's move on. Let's move on to the shoulder and stuff here. Now this I'm just going to blanket because so much of it's destroyed. Cue for the quick mask. Let's keep a few parts of the blue. But a lot of this has got to go. Let's fix this part here. A lot of this blue up here. Let's see what we got here. And a few spots here. Q, invert, remove. Number one, number two, that's looking good. Number three, or number four. I'm liking number two here. Now let's clean up the collar. So I'm gonna rotate the canvas, R for rotate. Q for the quick mask, B for your brush. And let's just paint over all this stuff over here. Add a little bit of the good white part. But a lot of this is just not cool. It's dirty, that just doesn't work. R for rotate, escape. Q for the quick mask, invert it, remove. All right, number one, number two, number three, number four. I'm liking number three. We'll do a little more cleanup later on. Let's do this part down right about here. Let's zoom in there because we got all this spotty stuff. So what we'll do, Q, get your brush. Let's just brush over this some of this stuff here don't have to fix everything now let's make sure because we want to preserve the original pick and some of its stuff so let's, let's see if we can get rid of some of these spots too quick mask invert remove all right it's made it nice and white, and it's kind of changed the color a bit. But I'm thinking, I'm going to hit generate again. There we go. That's a good one. Now, like I've done before, I'm going to choose the layer mask. Image. Apply image. And if there's anything else you want to clean up, remember, you will use paint white. That will bring it in white. If we want to bring something back, back in black. And I want to see if there's anything with the button we can do. Yeah, it's bringing back a little bit of the button. Go back to white. And we'll clean it up a bit. Zoom out. And things are starting to look really good here. Now, this is the cool part that I want to show you with Generative Expand. First, I'm going to put everything we've just done in a group. Jenner times 10. Bill. Now, to use generative expense, what I'm going to do is I want to fix the background of this pick a bit. So the first thing we're going to do, crop tool. Make sure we've chosen background and to delete the crop pixels. Don't worry about it. So what I'll do is I'll bring it in a bit on this side in a bit on this side to about there and crop it now let's change to generative expand crop tool 
I want to bring it out so I can see a little more of the shirt on both sides to complete this picture and a little more of the shirt down here. Generate. And it's put back my arm. It's gotten me a little more of the shirt the way it used to be. Let's see, number two, number three, number four. Oh, number four looks good. So we'll stick with number four. We've cleaned up a lot of different things. Now, what you can also do is use the new remove tool if you want. Start a new layer, use the remove tool, and just kind of go around and dab and fix what you want. Or we can continue with the generative fill. So I'm going to take this generative expand, put it in its own group. Gener, expand. Now, we can go around with our lasso tool, L for the lasso tool, and just do a little bit of cleanup if you want. It's up to you. It's doing a wonderful job. We'll just grab some of this. Remove. Now what we'll do, you can keep going to fix the whole picture if you want. This little dot here. Remove. You know, any little things like that that you want to go in and, ch and change. Let's grab some of this. And some of this, remove, and gone. I'm not going to spend the whole time nitpicking and removing things. I'm just showing you what can be possible here. Let's go up here and change, get rid of this dusty area here. Remove. And it's changing the background for you. It's just crazy. Let's zoom out. You can see there's a little bit of blue stuff up here. So let's zoom in. And what we can do is fix the background first by the same method. Or you can use your quick mask again. So I'll do that. And I'm going to reduce my floor to 30. So let's just color in these little spots, the blue spots here. A little bit over here. Move it over. But always remember, grab a little bit of the good stuff to give it a reference. All right, let's zoom out. Q for the quick mask. Invert. Remove. And it's put back a background. The background still seems natural like it was originally. Now, like I said, we can go back and we can fix everything up. I'm going to maybe do a little bit of the hair here, but everything else on the clothing, we can go back and do how we normally would do it. Or keep using generative fill. Z key. Now, I'm going to make sure my brush is only 30. Quick mask. Just lightly go over some of these dustier blue areas. I don't have to do it all, because we want to keep a lot of the original if we can. A little bit there. All right, quick mask, invert, remove. One, two, three, four. Oh, I like four. Four's got some good reds in there for my hair and stuff. Now, once again, this is where the cool part comes. Choose the layer mask, apply image, and we'll paint with white just what we want to fix. And black to put something back, white to keep going and change. Zoom out, crazy, it's just crazy. It's matched my hair color and possibly the part of the lighting. You could nitpick all day if you want, but when you have a selection like this and everything is looking great, why mess with it? So let's put everything into a group again. Jenner times five this time. I'm going to make a stamp visible layer. Control Alt Shift E. Turn everything else off before, after, before, after. Great stuff. I just love the results it comes up with just those two tools. Unbelievable. Thanks, Adobe. You guys are really kicking ass.
Let's bring it in. Come on, bring it. Ah. If this video helped you at all, leave a comment below. Like and subscribe, you won't break a nail. I'm Don from 40911. See ya.